Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is the D60 deltoidal hexaconsohedron by the Dice Lab. The Dice Lab is myself and Robert Fathauer. This is a 60-sided die, which is a lot of sides. Um, this is the first uh, injection molded die uh, that has 60 sides. Um, this shape, the deltoidal hexaconsohedron, uh, is the only possible one uh, for a die if you're uh, going to have two properties, one uh, that opposite faces should be parallel, uh, which is a good idea if you want it to land with a face facing upwards. Um, so it, you also uh, want for a die uh, that it's isohedral. So if you have um, both opposite faces are parallel and isohedral, and this is the only possibility. What does isohedral mean? Isohedral means that there's a symmetry of the object that takes any face to any other face. And so that means it's really fair um, as a die uh, up to, you know, manufacturing differences or, or how much material you remove from each face to put the number on and so on. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a fair die, whoops, um, and you can roll it, and they roll very, very well, too well in fact, um, which means that they go off shot and take forever to settle down. But eventually they do, and it gives you a random number between 1 and 60, in this case 6, or for this one 56, or for this one, 33, or for this one, uh, 4. So um, let me say something about the, the shape. So this is sort of a cross between an icosahedron and a dodecahedron. So if you group the faces by fives, um, so these five uh, kite shapes here are arranged around a vertex here, and then there's another five over here and another five over here, there are uh, 12 such groupings of five, and they make up a dodecahedron. So you can think of these edges in between those uh, groupings of five as being the edges of a dodecahedron. Uh, if instead you group them by threes, then uh, you get 20 groups of three, and uh, those together make an icosahedron. And so there are these edges here um, which uh, cut those groups of three apart from each other, and uh, those are the edges of an icosahedron. And so if you put those two together, you get an icosahedron and a dodecahedron, and they cut the shape up into these 60 uh, kite shapes, um, which are pretty good shape, really, for the face of a die. Um, it's, a ni it's not too, too squished down, it's not too narrow. Um, you can write a nice big number there. Uh, we thought quite a lot about the numbering scheme, um, so it follows the usual rule that a number uh, it should be opposite uh, the number which together adds up to uh, one more than the number of sides. So 1 plus 60 is uh, a 61, um, and 4 plus, what is it going to be, uh, 57, 4 plus 57 is again 61, and so on. Um, the other thing we wanted to do was uh, to make it uh, relatively balanced, so you don't want too many big numbers in the same place, you don't want too many small numbers in the same place. And so what did we do for this? We looked at uh, the sums of numbers around the, the degree 3 vertices and the sums of numbers around degree 5 vertices. And so, uh, with a computer search, uh, we, what we've managed to do is to have that uh, every vertex of degree 5, uh, the numbers add up to either 152 or 153. Um, so that's as balanced as you can get for those uh, numbers around the degree 5 vertices. For the degree 3 vertices, the numbers add up to either 91 or 92. And so again, as good as you can really get. There are also these degree 4 vertices um, they aren't particularly well balanced around those, um, but the search space is just so enormous that there's really not a lot you can do. So we couldn't do a, a complete search of the whole space, this was just sort of um, randomly walk around in the space of possible numberings, uh, trying to improve the situation, and, and eventually we found one that at least was as good as you can get on the degree 5s and the degree 3s. So this is the D60 deltoidal hexaconsohedron by the Dice Lab.